Hey guys, um, as you probably already know, uh, this week's theme is phases, so I thought I'd do like a sit down chatty video about my musical phases, like the music I was into at like different stages of my life. So during my early childhood I was in exposed to things like The Lion King and High School Musical and those were like my gateway drugs into the world of musical theatre which I, which I still love today. At primary school we did productions such as Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat, we did Bugsy Malone, Oliver and The Sound of Music, so those musicals were like the, the musicals and films and music that I listened to growing up. Into my early years of secondary school, and when I was about 11 or 12, I discovered Les Mis, and oh my gosh, it's still my favourite musical to this day. I, I saw it on the West End like a few years ago, and oh, I just love that musical so much, oh my goodness. Then I started discovering YouTube, and I found YouTubers who were also musicians, so I got into a band called Chameleon Circuit, and their music was incredible, they wrote songs about Doctor Who. The band is no longer existing. I then kind of got into rock music from Chameleon Circuit. I started getting into like rock music, so I got really into Fall Out Boy and actually they were the first band I ever saw live. Uh, it was an incredible experience. I went with a friend and we knew every single song lyric. And it's one of those moments that you won't forget your first concert and for me that's Fall Out Boy. I still listen to Fall Out Boy to this day. Like most of the music I was into throughout my life I still love now. So like I don't cringe back at all the music I used to listen to because I still like them. So when I was into Fall Out Boy I also got into Panic at the Disco. Um, I write scenes not tragedies and um, Ballad of the Mona Lisa. Oh, I love those songs. Those were like my early teenagehood. Okay so after Panic at the Disco Fall Out Boy, I discovered Mayday Parade, and there are two songs that I love so dearly, like they're so, such emotionally beautiful songs, and that's Mayday Parade's um, Miserable at Best and Terrible Things. Again, they're not the most cheery songs, but they're beautiful, emotional, and the lyrics are beautiful, and oh, if you haven't listened to them, go listen to them, they're, they're top good top good. <laughs> and then started getting into record collecting when I was like 15, 16? No. Yeah, 15, 16 I started getting into record collecting. So I got a bunch of my dad's old records like The Beatles, Pink Floyd, The Smiths and Morrissey, um, Simon and Garfunkel and Carol King I think. Yeah. So I was listening to all those and they're beautiful. Like. Still, I still listen to them, I still have a lot of vinyls, like my record collection has grown a lot since then but yeah I still have all those and I still listen to them all the time. <laughs> when I was in this sort of indie sort of old school music I started getting into sort of new indie old school music if that makes sense. So I started listening to 1975 um, Bry. I met him like two or three times I think and he's lovely and Oh, he's wonderful and he makes such good music. Like, and then I started getting into like a lot of heavy rock music like Brim, Brim in the Horizon, Pierce the Veil, Sleeping with Sirens, uh, stuff like that. That's my more recent phase like a couple of years ago, especially Brim in the Horizon's Drown. That song is so good. And by Pierce the Veil, I'm Low on Glass and You Need a Jacket, I think that's what it's called. I love that song. Um, the lyrics in that are so complex and so detailed and you could just pick it apart for hours and that's what I love about that song. And I really like Floral and Fading from the Misadventures album, that's the new album. And the acoustic version of Floral and Fading is beautiful. And now I sort of, nowadays, I sort of listen to, I don't know, like a mixture of everything. <laughs> Um, what have I been listening to lately? I've been listening to a lot of a band called A Fox Academy, uh, who I've been into for a couple of years, and they're so good. They're very psychedelic, very like off the wall. Like you either love them or you hate them, but I love them. And I also discovered recently a band called Cyberbully Mom Club, and they're just oh my goodness, I love them so much. Like their song Drunk Text Romance and Better Than This. Those two songs are my favourite so far but I have yet to listen to all of their songs. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't artsy and cool or anything. I just thought I'd sit down and chat to you guys because I want you to get to know me a bit better and I feel like raw footage is like a good way for you to just sit back and get to know me and we can have a chat. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you don't mind me rambling on about music too much. I mean, I could do it all day, but you probably wouldn't want to see that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.